um, with a or if you do have an e-commerce um, 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 let's do is the whole marketing automation confusing the hell out of you? Well, you're not alone. There's a ton of people out there who feel the same way. So make sure you tune into these tutorials to make sure that you get your system set up properly at the start. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about the different engagement types you can have within marketing automation. So let's log in and I'll see you there. All right, now that we are logged in, let's get at it. As we come over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to engagement. Now, we're gonna dive into each one of these individually and just give you a very brief overview of what these are. We don't spend a lot of time on these. They're just not used as much as, as everything else in the system. So we're gonna be glossing over this rather quickly, but just so you can see what it looks like, and integrate it when you need to. So for example, we can set up surveys over here. This allows us to integrate our Zoho survey account to the Zoho marketing automation tool. So if we click integrate account, we can go through this whole process. Unfortunately, it says that we do not have a Zoho survey account, but what would happen is it would integrate with it and then it would allow you to choose which survey you wanna send out. And then you can send that specific survey out as a campaign. So that's the Zoho surveys. And now with Zoho events, we can click on this and it actually integrates your Zoho backstage account. So again, similar to the Zoho survey, what happens is you integrate all these Zoho applications into your marketing automation, and then you send out a new campaign with that specific tools integration into it. So once you choose to integrate, you just send out a campaign and it'll go out um, with that event information in it. We can also do this with uh, webinars as well. So that uses Zoho meeting. You can integrate, send that campaign out to all your individuals. We can do e-commerce. So we can actually connect our e-commerce store with marketing automation. Um, so with that is you can connect your online store and manage all your products, create promotional campaigns, recover sales from abandoned carts and track the performance of every promotional campaign. So this is pretty heavy on the e-commerce side. Again, most of our clients don't really use this. They don't really need to. Um, we don't have a lot of e-commerce clients, but if you are an e-commerce customer and if you do have an e-commerce setup within Zoho, this allows you to integrate with it and you know pull in a ton more information and send out automated emails, send out you know maybe journeys. When we get to that point, you can create a lot more interesting and complex journeys using this information. Now, another engagement type we have here is email signature marketing. So clicking on this, we see that the business email marketing, we can engage our leads through email signature marketing. So what this actually means is it allows you to create a specific signature for everyone within your organization. Then it allows you to create campaigns and attach those campaigns to that signature. Now, the ultimate point of this is to get more engagement. So you can go through all of this. You can create a campaign to um, let's just call this test to get your signatures from your employees or to create the signatures for your employees then once that's done you can attach a campaign so this is what it would look like over here on the side is this preview so we have you know you're writing everything you have in your email and then it would go out with this signature at the bottom of it so as long as your team creates these email signatures, you can go ahead and add this to any campaign you send out, which can be quite nice to try and get other individuals to engage. You Once this is done, you can actually track the, if we go back here, um, you can actually track the top performing campaigns using these. So, you know, let's say you have a salesperson that as soon as a new lead comes in, you send out an email and you want to attach your sales individual's contact information. This would be how you would do that through marketing automation. And it can be really handy and it's actually a really cool tool. So I suggest you look at this a little bit closer and at least create a signature for your team through this. Um, there's a lot more we can do here with it, but this is pretty much it for the email signature campaign. It's just another addition when you create a new campaign to make it more personable and in order to get engagement. So now we also have smart URLs. This type of engagement allows you to bring in and customize your own shortened links. You can set expiry and password lock for shortened links, and you can generate smart links with multiple destinations and different criteria. So it is actually pretty smart here. So you first have to associate your domain. Uh, we have not done this yet, but this is where you'd go about it. So you would set up, let's just say smart.clientric.co, and we would associate that. And so it would give us what we need to put into our DNS settings. So we'd go through that. We would verify now. It would say no records found. 
But then once that's done, we would be able to go through and do exactly what it says. We can create shortened URLs, um, which can be quite handy when you have some of these other URLs that are, um, you know, maybe they're a hundred or a thousand characters long of whatever it is. Maybe it's a form or something you're sending out. There are a variety of reasons why you'd want to use these smart URLs. So that's one reason you could look into it. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd recommend looking into this a little bit more detail, add this in and test it out with your system and see if it makes sense. We also have email campaigns, which we're going to be diving into in the next tutorial. So we have that here. So next we have social campaigns. This is basically bringing in some of Zoho social into marketing automation. You can do limited options here. You can set up page campaigns or post campaigns within your social media or you know, your Facebook profiles, it's fairly limited. And a lot of our clients actually use Zoho one, which means that we don't really utilize this section of marketing automation because it's not needed. We have Zoho social to do all of that stuff for us. And it's a much better tool. This is pretty limited in what you can do. So we would recommend if you're going to use Zoho one that you use Zoho social, you can also set up SMS campaigns, which basically allows you to integrate Twilio to marketing automation, and then you can create your own campaigns. Similarly to the way you create an email campaign, when we get there, you just create it and send it out. And everyone on your list that you have a phone number for will get that uh, text message as well. So that is SMS campaigns. And then we have campaign based reporting. So we don't have any campaigns here right now. But we have a variety of different statuses when we go through creating a campaign. So we have in testing, in progress, sent, stopped, canceled, and then we have different campaign types over here as well. We'll dive more into this as we continue to um, explore the campaign side of things. But you can also see the campaign activity, campaign performance. There's nothing in there. We can compare campaigns and see how well they did against one another. And then we can also look at Google Analytics. We'd have to associate our account to this. And that's one way we can do that. So I'd recommend you um, associating your Google Analytics account here um, and just putting in that information as well. So we're just going to integrate it here. Um, we don't have a Google Analytics campaign for this domain. So we are just going to exit out of this and that brings us back here. So that's it for the different engagement types. As always, please subscribe down below and continue to get some awesome content. We're going to be diving into a lot more of this stuff. As I'm sure you're starting to understand, marketing automation is a pretty powerful tool. There's a lot going on to it. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you are using the Zoho One system, you are probably going to be utilizing this on a more simple manner. So we do have a lot of capabilities here, but really at the end of the day, you may not need it. We want to make sure we get this content out to anyone else who needs it, like yourself. And in order to do that, if you like and comment and post and you know help us out, we can make sure that we reach other people who are also needing help. And make sure that you also subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram channels. We hope you have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.